12 hours to get here. There's five of us that came from Minnesota. And um, my husband was very supportive. He couldn't come, but he told me to come because he's heard of this gentleman and this camp. I've seen this guy, but only in a box. I've never seen him alive, either on YouTube or listening to him Ramadan speeches, that kind of thing. And I've had, I don't want to go into a bunch of detail, but it's been a, it's been a rough summer for me, personally. And my husband said, you go there, Barbie. You go there, you heal. You need to heal. You need to be around people. You need to learn. You need to become firm. And I was like, okay. So I came, and I called my husband, and he goes, how's it going? And I said, there's some things I can't figure out. We walk forever from our cabins all the way to Mosulah. I don't get it. He said, really? I said, yeah. He said, another thing I don't quite get is the amount of food we get. It's good, but it's not a whole lot. He said, really? I said, yeah. He goes, do you think that place is hurting for money? I said, well, no, I don't think they're hurting for money. The facilities is gorgeous and everything's great. And we're comfortable and life is good. So then a couple, about a week later, I phoned him and I said, Amir, I figured it out. He said, you figured it out? I said, yeah. I feel like I'm on a mini hatch, and you said that's this morning, brother. And it hit me right square in the chops. In the early, early morning, you know, we get out in the sun and the, the stars are everywhere. And I'm, and I'm trudging, crunch, 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 to make it to fudge your prayers. A couple times I didn't see a living, breathing soul. I was just, oh, I'm doing <laughs> just walking. And all of a sudden you see people coming. They're all coming and they're walking and we're all going to one area to be together. And you hear the adhan. And from the head, from my head to my toe, I'm goosebumps. I said, Amir, there's a purpose for us walking that far. It makes you think. It makes you become aware. It makes you grateful that I just wanted to roll out of bed and all of a sudden say my prayers. I have a nice long walk and it's time to think. What am I doing? Why am I walking? Why are all these people together? It's to unify us. It's to teach us something. He was like, wow. I said, another thing, I figured out this food business. He said, yeah. I said, it's just enough. Last week, I think the other day, we had the hamburgers. Remember the hamburger and the french fries and something else? And we were all saying, man, we're stuffed. It was like a huge meal. We've gotten enough. We're grateful. You've given us exactly what we needed. You've made us feel grateful. You've given us reason for foundation to do what we're here to do. I've gotten mega amounts of wisdom from everybody, from campers, from people in the kitchen. Brother Muhammad has become my true brother, and I mean that. The things that he's told me about, about people that you can trust, and giving yourself to Allah. That's all we need. And I wasn't there yet. But I opened the Quran the other morning, because I had about this much of doubt in my head. I truly, truly did. And then after listening to Brother Muhammad, he said, you know, you just open that book. And you can talk to God. Did you know that? I thought that you had to have flowery language and you have to be all full of philosophy. And I don't know that kind of stuff. And I talked. And I asked the other day. I said, you know, I haven't talked to you much. I really, truly haven't. And I become Muslim only five years ago. And that, but I was still had a little tiny bit of doubt. I know well, this is from Allah. I wasn't quite ready to hold on to it. I opened that Quran and you wouldn't believe. The ayat that I read told me, don't be faithless. We've given you everything to believe in. Trust in me. I trust in you. And it brought me to my knees. I will forever be grateful for this place, for all of you that give everything you've given, for every uh, the, the looks on the people's eyes that I've seen since I've, I've known you only this bit. But yet I've gained family. I've seen you boys grow. You're crazy and you're nuts and you're having a good time, but I still see you in the morning in that, in that muscle. The rest of the day, everything. Mashallah, I'm so grateful and I really, really am.
around. So let's all come back next time, okay? All of us together at the same time? Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you very much, Sister Barbara. I'll reward you for sharing your, your, your thoughts. It's, uh, it's very encouraging for people like us. جيهن وما أدري متى تلقى هناك ماني إذا حاولت أن أدنو لربي أبغتني عنه كأني من عداك تشتاق روحي للسماء شوق المساكين أحتاج أن أسمو كما أحتاج للعين لكن لما لكن لقلبي كلما أهمو يمانيني لكن لقلبي كلما This day had to come eventually. It's a very sad moment for me. Please do not record me. Hey, bring him here, bring him here, bring him here. Outside, outside. Bring him here, I got a video tape. Outside, outside. Outside, outside. Inshallah, every year, with an amazing experience, till next year. Salawat. This kid, he never stops smiling. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Hi. Of course. I, I, I miss all of you.